I get asked a lot with people that come into the course, how can you be lazy? How, what do you mean lazy? Are you, how can you even justify being a therapist when you saying to just relax, don't prepare anything, just turn up, just ask some questions? Well, that is therapy. You not doing anything means that you are doing so much. You less is always more. And I use this when I do my stretching, my fascial stretch therapy on my clients. Less is more. Our body, our tissue, the fascia doesn't want you to press hard on it because they'll resist. And it's the same with the unconscious mind. The more pressure you put on them or the unconscious mind, the more they're going to put up a barrier. It's exactly the same as when I do my stretching. They're already in resistance. They are already aware that you're going to do something to the body. So they're not going to relax. They're actually tense. Okay, I better do, I better move my arm to help the therapist because then they don't have to do it. Or with bodybuilders, I better move because I've got so much muscle and it's heavy so they can't lift it. You've got a tiny, a tiny therapist, they're not going to be able to lift my arm. No, because that is resistance. When you pressure and and apply pressure on a muscle, you then are going to get the muscle to tense up even more. You want to have a parasympathetic sensory on the body. You want them to be relaxed. But if you're going to start inflicting pain or putting pressure then they're going to get their defense up. They're going to be defensive, just like our unconscious mind. The more pressure you put on them, the more pressure they're going to resist. So it's a clash of of the two. And you're not going to get any results that way. The outcome will be zero. So you want to work with the muscle. You want to work with the tissue. You want to work with the fascia. And working with them means that you just apply a little bit of pressure, feel the sinking in the tissue, feel the way it's allowing you, inviting you in. It's the same with the unconscious mind. Be invited, ratify these questions and allow it to be sinking in to the unconscious mind. When they're ready to reveal these unconscious moments, that is clues for you to then keep that enticing, keep teasing it so that they will reveal what the actual issue is. That is what therapy is so wonderful. When we use this, we actually get the byproduct of trance, not allowing any pressure, but just allowing flow to the session with no stress, no pressure, And when that happens, that is what you get more of. Your less is always more. And when you see this happening in the course, in Advanced Conversational Therapy course, you'll see how it just comes up organically and naturally.